The verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Psalm chapter 20 and verse 5. It's just the beginning of that verse and it says this. It says, may we shout for joy over your victory. In our modern world, some words that we hear today, we think, oh, that's really bad that that person said that. Because years ago it meant something completely different. There's a lot of that happening around. When you first read this, when we shout, well, people shout when they're angry and, you know, things like that. But then again, if you're on stage, you project your voice, which might sound like shouting. I love words and I love to look up where words come from. And I've looked up this in the King James and the King James version says it slightly differently. It says this, may we rejoice in thy salvation. So shout may rejoice. This word rejoice, it means, well, it, it's you're overcome with something when you rejoice. Um, and it says you emit a stridulous sound, which means it's you can't help but bring this noise forward. That is to shout, usually for joy, a cry for joy, joyful, be joyful, making a joyful noise, to rejoice, to shout, to cause, to sing in triumph. It's a triumphal word. So that's what it comes down to. Yet in our society today, the word shout that person, if you raise your voice, that person shouted at me. Well, we're told here that when we shout for joy to the Lord for the victories. And of course, it means to praise the Lord with everything that is within us. In the same kind of manner that what might cause us to shout with anger, but to do it in a joyful way. So when you read these words, sometimes it's worth checking where they come from. So today... Saturday, start of our weekend, may you, in a stridulous way, <laughs> shout for joy to our Lord for the victories that he has won. Have a great weekend.